Our next guest is Tom Coletta from Blue Force Gear. What's going on, Tom? Uh, not much. Just living the dream down here in Savannah, Georgia. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Trying to live the dream out here in Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> So for, for people who are not so familiar with Blue Force Gear, um, let's talk about the background and, and kind of how things got started with the company. Sure. Uh, the company started back in uh, 2004 in a bonus room um, mm -hmm. uh, down here in Savannah. Um, our founder, Ashley, was uh, a big shooter, loved to shoot, and had been developing and working on different slings. Mm -hmm. um, just had this idea of how people were carrying slings and had always had an interest in military history. So he had been working on one in a couple different ways and ended up coming across Larry Vickers uh, when he was taking a carbine class. Okay. And Larry actually took a look at Ashley's sling and said, damn, that's, that's pretty cool, man. What are <laughs> you doing there? And so they sat down and talked to, uh, talked to each other and ended up developing what we call the Vickers sling. Yep. Uh, they had taken that to through a lot of different iterations, and really it all kind of culminated uh, when the U.S. Marine Corps um, adopted the Vickers Combat Application Sling, moving from a three-point to a two-point combat okay. sling with a quick adjust and uh, fully captured system. So that's really been, you know, that's the foundation of the company. So that's been about 13, 14 years ago. Wow. I mean, I'm going to tell you because that, that, that sling is pretty ubiquitous. I can't go into a gun store across the country without seeing it in the gun store, um, especially in that very distinctive packaging that I always see it in. And so yeah. <laughs> the, I, the, the love hate relationship we have with that packaging. Um, <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. It's, it's a great sling. And what's what really kind of is the foundation of this company is, is we are 100 percent determined to, number one, be an American company. So uh -huh. we make uh, and manufacture everything here in the United States. Um, we're a very compliant company. Um, we also really kind of have a, a uh, an ideal that no mission will ever fail because of our gear. Gotcha. So we put a tremendous amount of focus on our quality. Um, we talked about the slings. I can say we have never in our history had a sling come back from a stitching or sewing issue. So that, that's pretty it's impressive. We've yeah. got, I think right now, three, somewhere between 250 and 300,000 slings out there in military applications. <sighs> wow. Wow. That, that is definitely saying a lot. Um, I yeah. just, man, I, I, I was always the guy who refused to use slings. Um, I really did. Like, I, I, if you go back and look at some of my old videos, I get a lot of shit for it, too. <laughs> These people are constantly telling me, they're like, dude, put a sling on that thing. I just, I hate <laughs> stuff around me and tying me up. It drives me insane. Then I started yeah. taking some courses, and then I started realizing the value in a sling. <laughs> yeah, um, and, yeah, and that's really from, you know, what's changed. And I, I honestly come from more of a hunting world. That's my background. And so every rifle I've ever had has been sling gotcha. or slung. And then you, you come into the AR world and you see so many that, that yeah. are not. Yeah. And from what I understand, the history of it was years ago, uh, they were trained not to use slings because technically people would sling it over their shoulder mm. and you're not in a ready position. position yeah. By using a quick adjust sling and being able to carry it in front, it allows you to be, you know, quickly have your, uh, have your weapon at the ready. So it's really kind of changed how it's been trained. Um, we understand people are being trained to use the sling and marksmanship now with the Vicker sling. So yeah. it's uh, it, it's been a, a really great product for us. Um, we continue to evolve it. Um, everything from that, from the hardware is proprietary. We designed that, changed that, the webbing, everything that we do. So we take a, a great deal of pride, and you know that's why we warranty it for life. Awesome, awesome. So so what new products are you focused on in 2017? So in, in 17, we've kind of had a focus to uh, maybe change the way people think about uh, everyday carry. Okay. And this one product um, that I, well, one of the products I'll talk to you about today um, is what we call the micro trauma kit. So maybe get a good look at that. Uh -huh. um, this kit, a lot of our foundation, we work with a lot of special operations groups and a lot of people. Um, this one in particular was a request from Department of State who was looking for a low vis. Uh, level three trauma kit that would allow them to carry something on them, but not necessarily have your typical yeah. uh, med kit that you would see kitted up on, you know, someone downrange. Yeah. So we took a lot of the same development from this, um, and one of the thing we always do is we've learned uh, with our TKNs or trauma kits that hand injuries tend to be extremely prevalent in the battlefield and everywhere. So. 
we've worked it so it's single hand deployable from either side. Mm -hmm. So either one. It's made of a proprietary material called UltraComp, which is a uh, four layered Cordura rubber proprietary mix, incredibly strong, hydrophobic, uh, antimicrobial, really, really tough stuff, and allows you to you know pack everything in there. So what's funny about this is you know the kit's been great, and you know this is more for guys who are wearing a suit coat or something like that, so yeah. they don't. You know, they're not sticking out, right? <laughs> but what we've seen is the application for this, and we worked with a guy, an 18 Delta Special Forces medic, to figure out what are the contents. Yeah. And, you know, it's people have just loved it. And we're seeing so much crazy shit going on in the world today. I don't mm -hmm. know how else to say it, but, yeah. you know, whether it's a shooting, whether it's a car accident, whether it's anything. And we see so many people who are out there, you're trying to be prepared with your everyday carry. You've got your, you know, your concealed carry weapon, you've got a knife, you've got everything out there, but nobody is prepared to be the second person who comes up. No one's there to treat that person when you walk up. And Travis, the guy we work with who helped us develop this said, you know, you're so much more likely to be walking to your mailbox and see a kid wreck on a bike and, you know, get a, a horrible fracture or laceration or something like that. What are you going to be able to do to treat them? Yeah. And so that's why we're trying to get people to think about, you know, what are you doing? So in the kit itself, I mean, this is fantastic. It's smaller than an M4 mag, weighs practically nothing. We've got two different versions. We've got a belt mounted version and we've got a molly mounted version. So depending on how you want to carry it, but within the kit also comes a very, very high level of uh, treatment and accessories. So just really quick, it comes in this little kit. You've got a nasal pharyngeal complete with <laughs> lube. So to, uh, for instructed airway, Yeah. you've got combat boss which again is the gold standard of hemostatic gauze for um, massive hemorrhage. You've got North American Rescue chest seals. So again, very high level stuff there. So one of the things we love about this, it come, they come in packs of two because usually when you're seeing a bullet wound or something like that, you generally have two penetrations. You've got yeah. in and out. In and out yeah. So this allows you to fix that or treat that. Um, very high quality clear medical gauze, um, flat tape. Very important, so you can work on that as well. Great pair of gloves. And the other part here, which is something that always comes up, is a needle decompression needle. Uh, something that freaks people out. But <laughs> yeah, it freaks me out. <laughs> it, it is, it's, it's kind of big, but you know what, we really encourage, and that's kind of the thing we talk about at Blue Force is, you know, be prepared. Um, get the training yeah. and in talking with Travis, honestly, the first time we saw this, it was like, wow, that's a big needle. Um, we also found the training and how to administer it is actually very simple and you will save more lives from this. So we're looking at everything from head trauma, extracted airway, massive hemorrhage that you are able to treat with this kit. And so, you know, we've now, we're talking with hunters about it yeah. and this one particularly has a lot of I don't know. It has a great, a great deal of meaning to me. About a year and a half ago, I was in a really bad hunting accident with a friend. Um, and I mean, it was terrible. And uh, his, at no fault of his, but his, a, a muzzleloader exploded, yeah. um, hurt him horribly bad. And as I'm down there trying to help and trying to treat him, I realized how much stuff I have in my hunting bag, you know, and I, I've got, electronic bug repellents, you've got ozone makers, you've got tools to do all kind of crazy things to deer when yeah. you're cleaning them. <laughs> but what I didn't have, I didn't have a tourniquet. I didn't have gauze and I didn't have the mindset or training to help my friend. And we came within a few minutes of losing him. Jesus. And at that point I said, I'm never going to go in the field again without having the ability to at least help. So our whole mindset on this is, you know, it's that golden hour. Yeah. It's when these injuries happen, when this traumatic injury can happen, be able to administer care for someone until a professional can get there and truly save their lives. And, you know, unfortunately in the world today, we're seeing way too much of that. And mm -hmm. so that's kind of why we've got this kit out there. And, you know, the, the materials that are in there are very high level, extremely good quality, North American rescue, clear medical, USA made, this is not imported stuff that's supposed yeah. to look like it. This is the stuff that is carried downrange. Awesome. And I, I'm, I'm going to be completely forthright. 
um, before in this and say, I'm actually going to go and order one of those now <laughs> when oh. I go back home. Uh, just because, I, and I want to say this really quickly, um, I can't think of a, a worse situation than to be prepared to defend your life only to find yourself in a situation where you can't save a life that doesn't require you to have a firearm. Um, yep. and, and, uh, and I think that's a big deal. So uh, I think this is incredibly important and I implore everybody out there who's watching this, who does carry on a daily basis, who does carry a knife on a daily basis, um, to also get out there and, and, and get the medical kits necessary, whether it just be a simple tourniquet um, and carry them around daily as well, if you can. But uh, I wanna thank you very much, Tom, for joining us today. It was a pleasure. I'm sorry we ran out of time, uh, which we can no, keep going. Right. But, uh, but uh, you definitely have a good one. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Um, just go to blueforcegear.com mm -hmm. and find the stuff and we, will, uh, we promise we'll take great care of you. Absolutely. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. All right, you have a good one. Thanks for joining us on CN Live. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at five o'clock Eastern time. And I'm out. <laughs>